Hey, what's up guys? So next we're gonna be running this program. So just type in Python 3 Spotify xx.py and then we're gonna need to type in our username and we captured that before in this comment. And now I just press enter. And as you can see, um, it brought up this authorization at Spotify. So all you gotta do is click OK. And we said our base URL would be google.com. So as you can see, everything after google.com became this code. So we just copy this whole URL and paste it right back into the terminal. And press enter. All right, so it worked. Our, we now are authorized to use this Python code. And um, now let's keep on writing our code and um, start using the API a little bit. So the API is located at spotify.readthedocs.io. And um, if you guys want to read over this real quick before we get started, that would probably be pretty good just to get an understanding. So it's basically just Spotify is a lightweight Python library for the Spotify web API. With Spotify, you get full access to all the music data provided by the Spotify platform. And it has a few examples here, but the main thing we want are these. Um, like, um, gives you the names of the items in the API we can call along with their parameters. And you can also check out their GitHub. I'll link both these in the description. Um, so we're mainly going to be using these two rather than Spotify's web, Spotify's web API, because um, this one has been configured to be used with Python. So. Now let's get into writing some code. Um, so the first thing I want to give you guys, just make a comment of this. What's JSON dot dumps variable all in all caps and we'll say sort underscore keys equals true and indent equals four. So basically we're gonna have this code in our back pocket for whenever we need to use it. This is just gonna print out JSON data in a format that we can read. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some more code. Um. So first, let's grab current user. So we'll say Spotify object dot current user. This will get us data about the current user, and actually, it's current underscore user. Um. So let's do this function on this user data. All right, save it and let's run it. So as you can see, the JSON data here, I didn't have to authorize it again, but you guys might have to. So if you get that authorization with the okay, just okay it. Um, so we can see on the first level here, we have display name and that's my name, Ian and Ace. And we want to grab that one, so let's just say display name equals user display name. And another one we want to grab is the amount of followers. So you can see 
followers is on the first level, and then we need to go down another level to total. Alright, so followers equals user, and then first level is followers, and the second level is total. Let's just save that. And um, in the next video, we're going to go over how to make a menu loop and continue on with this code. And make sure you guys read that API, Spotify's API, so you get a full understanding of it. All right, see you in the next video.